what is up you guys and welcome back so sydney and i are doing a trader joe's grocery haul we just pulled up um haven't been to trader joe's in so long like beyond march so like i don't even know maybe once in 2020 uh the line is really long though so and we're we're at 90 degrees so i don't know hopefully it goes fast i don't uh, a bunch of you had said when um I mentioned doing a Trader Joe's haul that the um, lines where you live are really long so you don't really go, but 90% of you, even though I just did a grocery haul not long ago, like uh, last week, 90% um, of you voted that you still wanted to see it ASAP uh, and there was like 2,000 votes or something like that. So that is why we are doing another haul, but I'm going to do it like a vlog fashion. Yeah, we're going to go right now so that we don't get too hot. We're going to do kind of like a vlog fashion Trader Joe's haul to make it a little more interesting than just me standing in my kitchen. So come shop with us at Trader Joe's. See what there is. Now that I'm looking back, I can see all the signs I tried to feel. gonna show you everything that I got um, I'm gonna show you like vlog style I'm just gonna get behind the camera and show you just because it's such a huge haul um, it would take me so long if I held every individual item up this is the biggest Trader Joe's haul I have ever done um, but I wanted to stock up since I don't think I've even been in 2020 or it's just been several several months since I've been um, it's like an over an hour round trip or just about an hour round trip and tolls and whatnot so it's just not the most convenient place for us to like go and get our groceries but with that said I was so impressed with the way they were handling things um, as far as like the pandemic goes they had a line outside but they had like tents covering and then everyone was distanced and they had two-sided lines um, so they were only allowing a certain amount of people in the grocery store at a time when we actually got into the oh and before we got in the grocery store so i was watching they had an attendant with a line they had an attendant um with the grocery cart so whenever a new grocery cart would come in he had sanitizing wipes so he was wiping down all the carts as they came in um and then there was an, also an attendant at the door to like mark to, it was just very well run and then when we were actually in the store there was so much spacing and distancing like definitely easy to distance when I did my last grocery haul you guys I went to Market Basket and it was the worst um, place that I've been since March um, no distancing at all and it was it sketched me out it definitely did and then when we actually went to go pay they took our cart and bagged our groceries while we stood at a line we weren't over at the register we were standing way far back and then um, when they were all done bagging and we were ready to pay they stepped back and of course there was plexiglass but they stepped back away while we did our pay thing and then left it was just so I was very highly impressed with the way they handled it so Anyway, enough chatting. Um, I did, again, I stocked up on things that I, I mean, we don't get at our normal grocery store. So I definitely have so many items that are gonna stay in our pantry for a little while. 
um, or things that I can freeze as well. It is just Sydney and I, so yes, this is a huge haul for just the two of us. I was able to pick up so much fresh produce, which makes me so happy. I love having fresh produce in the house for Sydney to snack on. It is also a vegetarian Trader Joe's haul. I, You guys know. I mean, I eat chicken, but I don't buy my chicken anywhere except for Hannaford. I'm just... I say that all the time, but if you guys are new to my channel, um, this will be a vegetarian haul. Okay, let's jump into things so that I can hurry up and throw them in the fridge and the freezer. This is everything that I picked up. Again, it is a huge haul for just the two of us. It also makes me so happy to know that I have, I mean, I have a ton of things for pantry items that will um, stay good for a while. So hopefully this, I mean, this will definitely last us for a couple of weeks. So the first thing that I'm gonna, I'm just gonna get the frozen stuff out of the way since it's a hot day and we did travel. So I'm gonna just go through the frozen items. Um, I got Sydney some blueberry waffles for breakfast, keep frozen, so frozen blueberry waffles. And then I decided to get some treats. So I have some chocolate lava cakes. You guys, I grab these every time I go to Trader Joe's because they're so nice to have a little mommy treat at the end of the night. I definitely don't share so I have these when I put Sydney to bed they're so delicious chocolate lava cakes you pop them in the microwave and then I got some hash browns those are always nice to have I've only gotten them one other time and I do like to put the egg on them put them in put them in the oven top them with the cheese and like chives and whatnot and sour cream and it makes for a yummy sheet pan breakfast love those and then so this I was so bummed you guys I wanted to grab like three things of veggie fried rice but they didn't have it so they the man who i asked um an employee who i asked said this was really good but it's made with tofu and i don't like tofu usually we shall see maybe i can pick it out i don't know but it's made with edamame tofu it's like a japanese style fried rice um vegetarian just made with tofu um so we will try that out and then I always grab a gnocchi whenever I go. It depends on, they have a bunch of different flavors, but this gorgonzola gnocchi tends to be my favorite. And I like to make it with some frozen peas or broccoli. And that's just a really quick, easy go-to dinner. So I always like to have, um, you know, one or two on hand at a time. I love their sweet potato one as well. They did have a kale one, um, which I've never tried, but I just only grabbed this gorgonzola one. And then I absolutely love this, you guys. I try to get this whenever I go, if they have it in stock, this mech, Mexican style roasted corn with a Katija cheese and I ended up grabbing two of them. This is so Delicious it has those squares or like the pebbles that turn into a sauce and it has the Katija cheese that you sprinkle all on top And I like to like squeeze a lime. Oh my word you guys it is so yummy So again, I picked up two of those and then the last frozen item I picked up was a frozen pizza um we had gotten this probably a couple of times before. It's a family size, so quite a large size. This will feed us for a couple of meals. Um, it's basically just a cheese pizza with tomato sauce, but it is really, really yummy. Moving right along to the refrigerated section. So this is kind of a no it's just all refrigerated stuff. I got this coleslaw kit. I was craving coleslaw for some reason. Sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. So this is just a nice kit that I can quickly throw together. And I like to do, um, coleslaw in my tacos like as a nice sweet crunch yummy and then I had to grab some like salad mix this is just a just a I don't know normal like spring mix and then I got some yogurt I got Greek vanilla yogurt I just got this size because I got Sydney Sydney wanted her own little yogurt back there um, and I thought that would be really yummy because I got this peanut butter protein granola this sounded so yummy I, I do have some peanut butter granola, but it's almost out. So I figured I would grab this and it's way cheaper. The one that I have is like $8 and this one was three or four. So, and it's a decent size too. So I figured peanut butter protein granola on the vanilla Greek yogurt this week for breakfast and parfaits would be so delicious. And then um, I did get Sydney her own yogurt and she decided on this one. I don't know why she just loves this yogurt, but we got the peach mango flavors. There's like half and a half. Um, and then I needed butter. I'm totally out of all butters. So I ended up getting just this butter that is like a spreadable butter. It's got um, with sea salt. I don't know, with sea salt, less salt. And then I needed regular butter as well. So I just got some unsalted quarters. Moving along over here, I got a pizza dough, which I will pop in the freezer. This is a garlic and herb fresh pizza dough, which I love to have um, in my freezer for an easy um dinner that Sydney and I can make together and it's it's fun and it's really yummy and then I also got the pizza sauce to go with it just a regular thing of pizza sauce 
and then some mozzarella cheese as well now i do have my own basil and things like that and then i also got a thing of tomatoes so we can have like tomato pizzas and i just got the mix of like different colored tomatoes and then i got a little mini watermelon i figured this would be an absolutely perfect size for sydney and i to have this week that way we it doesn't go to waste because when we get like a too large of one, it definitely goes to waste because we're only two people. Um, and then, okay, so I definitely splurged and got a bunch of dips and sauces because I never, I just wanted them so bad. Um, this sounded so yummy and everything but the bagel Greek style yogurt dip. I don't even know what I'm going to dip in here. I mean, you tell me, what do I dip in this? <laughs> I'll probably just try it on everything that I got. Um, I did get a block of Katiha cheese. I always want Katiha cheese and my local grocery store seems to always be out of stock. And I love this on my Mexican dishes, um, whether it be bowls, tacos, anything so yummy um and then i got another um oh i actually got the onion chive cream cheese spread that sounded so yummy and of course um i got some bagels to go with it but i'll show you that in just a second um some cottage cheese for sydney to have for snacks a thing of two percent milk and then Sydney loves snacking on sugar snap peas and so do I love to have fresh produce for her to just have as snacks as opposed to like junk <laughs> and then of course some bananas and I love getting green bananas that way they don't go bad in two days and then let's see okay so this is new to me I have no idea what I'm gonna think of it but I am totally out of my coffee creamer and you guys know I always always use the same creamer I usually do the sugar-free hazelnut by coffee me and I know it's not healthy but it's what I like but anyway so I picked this up to try it's a coconut and almond creamer and it's vanilla I will let you know what I think of this I I think I have seen it on like a I don't know like someone on insta stories or something maybe uh, maybe I haven't maybe I'm making it up but anyway I'm gonna try that and I will report back and then I did get a bagged salad mix for an easy go-to lunch, like super easy, a Mediterranean style salad kit. I thought it sounded so yummy. It has shredded broccoli, um, celeries, flatbreads, feta cheese, sundry tomatoes, chickpeas, red wine vinaigrette. It just sounded so yummy. So I got that for an easy lunch for Sydney and I to have. And then I did, I know, I usually just get my own broccoli and cut it up myself, but I don't know, I was feeling like convenience. So I got a thing of fresh broccoli florets. And then also some cheese, like sliced cheddar cheese. And I did get the light cheddar cheese. I don't I guess I don't know why I did the light. I usually don't care. And then this has been out of stock for so long. I didn't think that they were going to have this come back. But this is one of Sydney, Sydney's favorite snacks. Um, and it's their fresh ready to eat edamame. You guys, this is such a healthy, great snack for the little ones. It's high in protein and so good for them. It's ready to eat. You can eat it hot or cold. And Sydney likes to snack on it cold. Hey, girl. <laughs> And then I also got another dip. Oh my word, you guys. I know I got so many dips and sauces and things. Three layer hummus. I don't know. This is calling my name. It just, what, I don't even know what is in it. It has traditional cilantro jalapeno and spicy. Oh, I didn't know it was going to be spicy, but eh, hopefully it's fine. <laughs> That's fine. And then I got a family size of strawberries. Um, Sydney and I, strawberries is like one of my favorite fruits um and Sydney and I go through them fast so one little like little thing might last us two days <laughs> so I just decided to grab a big thing of strawberries because we eat these so much and then one of my favorite sauces to cook with is a sweet chili sauce I love doing stir fries with these or the fried rice with the with this sauce and it is so yummy so good and then I was out of like any spray so I got an olive oil um, spray and oh I forgot we got cherries Sydney wanted cherries because when we went to the beach the other day with my mom she brought some and so Sydney's been asking for cherries ever since so I got just a thing of cherries and then also for lunches I grabbed Sydney some oven roasted turkey breast um, for sandwiches and roll-ups and things like that I was able to put away all the frozen and all of the refrigerated things and then half my counter is empty now so moving on to the dry goods we have some snacks breads a lot of snacks actually and then some like pantry items over there so i like to grab sydney a bunch of snacks when we are at trader joe's just because we love their snacks and it is so now that like i don't know i don't like to go grocery shopping every week i definitely like to grab bigger 
hauls um, just so that I'm not in public like every other day and I love to have a full pantry so that we just again we have things in stock and that's just definitely going to be my go-to from now on is grabbing um, like doing bigger hauls versus a bunch of little hauls so either way um, Sydney decided she wanted some of these the mini um, peanut butter sandwiches you know like the little reds sandwiches not that healthy but who cares <laughs> whatever it says organic um so mini peanut butter sandwich crackers and then sydney and i love these they're basically like tortilla chips but they are called three seed beet crackers and they are so yummy but again they're like tortilla chip style yumminess i like that they're called beets <laughs> And then one of our favorite snacks from there is always the everything crackers. They are so yummy, so flavorful. They have a lot of different flavors like garlics and onions and it's just so yummy. So we like those. Ooh, I could dip these in all those dips now that I think about it. <laughs> um, I did get a mini baguette. So a mini ciabatta baguette because I got some bruschetta. I don't know. I've never tried this. This is definitely a new purchase for me. Um, from Trader Joe's, but I decided to grab bruschetta. I do love homemade bruschetta, so we will see. But I figured this would be really good on a toasted baguette. And then, oh, of course, I got some avocados. I got three avocados to have. It's not a grocery haul for me without some avocados, that's for sure. We always have them every single week. Um, and then I did get the bagels to go with that onion and chive cream cheese I got some everything bagels and then more snacks that I didn't need but wanted <laughs> peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets one of the things that I missed in my last haul was snacks because I mean I'm not a huge snacker but I definitely like to have those options here and there especially late at night um, but peanut butter filled pretzel nuggets how delicious does that sound and then Sydney just decided on some applesauce she wanted the strawberry applesauce you guys i'm sure know if you go to trader joe's they have a bunch of different flavors and she decided on the strawberries ones and then these looked really good to me i don't know usually i get the abc bars and those are my favorite but i ventured out and decided to get this um for sydney to have for uh a snack for granola bars so these are chia bars with almonds cranberries and pumpkin seeds so on the back i always try to read the nutrition facts because i don't want her to have a ton of sugar because everything already has a bunch of sugar you know you get your fruit your applesauce your yogurt everything already has a bunch of sugar so i tried to just minimize it um, as much as possible anyway so this one has only um, five grams of sugar it is four grams of added sugar but you know i read the back and it didn't seem that bad so we will see i'm sure she will love those and then i also got this is something that i i do love from them is their brown rice and quinoa uh, pasta it is really delicious but also so healthy for you since it's made with quinoa and brown rice it is um, really yummy too so i got that and i also got some pasta sauce somewhere over there i guess i'll show you in a second and then i got some whole wheat uh, pita bread pockets and then i'm really excited to try these so quinoa and black bean and bean infused tortilla chips so yum this i like to get like if i'm gonna get snacks okay which i did i got a lot of snacks but i also want to try to get as healthy versions as i can versus just white corn chips i was like oh well it says quinoa and black beans so you know let's go with that <laughs> that is going to be for salsas and dips and all of the above and then we just needed some bread for sandwiches so i got their soft multi-grain bread a total unnecessary purchase but i need my sweets you guys i definitely need my sweets these are so good if you've ever tried them you know i mean they're just so yummy the half moon cookies they're like soft kind of cake like cookies and oh the crunch of the icing it's just yeah had to have them <laughs> they're calling my name this has already been opened we were eating them in the car because Cindy was hungry we always get one of these when we go i like the white cheddar corn puffs and Cindy does too i've honestly never tried the sour cream and onion but i don't like that flavor in general so had to pick those up those are just like pirate booty and then um Cindy, some cereal i got some joe o's basically cheerios for Sydney's breakfast, uh, toasted whole grain oats. So healthy, yumminess. What are you doing? I, I'm trying to look for the habanero. Oh yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to look for the yeah you've already had a bunch of bowls and then i saw caitlin nyer and then everyone else posting about these like all of her followers getting them so i was like oh well you know i'll get them why not <laughs> dark chocolate covered 
cacao berries, palma berries, but I don't know what that says. But either way, it was a chocolate covered like fruit snack basically. And that sounded like it would be a yummy treat, yummy snack at night. And then I also saw, I randomly saw this. I never really go to their wine and beer section, but they do have a good selection. And I do remember hearing about the summer water wine from someone on Instagram. Jen, I can't remember, Sister Studio Jen. Anyway, I remember her saying that the summer water wine was really yummy and I usually don't get rosé wine. I don't know, so I hope it's good. She said it was good, so I hope it's good. And then I got a big water. I'm trying to switch from getting small bottles of water to larger bottles of water and then I really just don't like my own filtered water unless I can get something for my faucet, but I don't know. So anyway, at least I'm reducing my plastic by getting a larger thing of water hey little by little we will get there uh so yeah i just got a big thing of water and then i also got some brown rice some brown basmati rice i was completely out of rice i have quinoa but no rice I like to have that on hand always in my pantry and i love sparkling water so much i honestly i tried one thing of spindrift and i didn't love it because it has juice in it or like you know fresh berry juice and i just i like like completely unsweetened no other like i just want sparkling water i do want it to be flavored but no sweetness you know what i mean anyway so i got the blueberry lemonade flavor hopefully that's yummy it sounded like it'd be really delicious and i want one right now and then moving on to the last little bit here is pantry items so things that i just needed to stock up on or have never tried and was dying to try i got some tahini because i want to make some hummus so i also got some garbanzo beans and you need tahini for it well i mean i guess you don't there are some recipes without it but in my opinion you need tahini and then also tahini in sauces for uh like burrito bowls and buddha bowls things like that i also got a thing of queso cheese to dip the tortilla chips in i don't know that was an impulse buy but it sounded really yummy and then I also got some sun-dried tomatoes, something that I like to have on hand um, in my pantry. I don't want to open it yet because I want to make specific meals out of this, but I know come the fall, I love to make like sun-dried tomato Alfredo sauce, yum. So anyway, I had to grab that. Some over here, like this is where all my money went. <laughs> I got some coconut almond or co not coconut, cocoa almond spread sounds so good basically like nutella except for not with hazelnut but yummy and then we needed some regular peanut butter creamy no stir peanut butter i got some pickles for sandwiches and then i think i've seen like liza adele share this see you guys i go there and i'm like okay what did everyone else share since everyone else is able to go <laughs> uh chili onion crunch no idea i think she uses this on like cucumbers I don't know if you guys have ever tried this what do you eat this on air cucumbers what you eat on i don't know but i got it just purely based on the fact that i've seen a couple of influencers eat that I don't know. <laughs> and then some almond butter i was completely out of almond butter i like to have creamy no no salt added or anything like that and the last item i got was creamy tomato basil pasta sauce so that is everything that I picked up. All right, you guys, so that is everything that I picked up. My throat is dry and I need to drink at this point because I feel like I've talked a mile a minute for so long. Um, again, I, I hope you enjoyed it and I do know that I just did a grocery haul, so I won't, you know, I'll give some space before I do my next grocery haul, um, that's for sure, but, uh, but they just opened an Aldi like 35 minutes away from me. It is in the next state, so it's a little bit of a drive. So I definitely want to do an Aldi haul next, but I will, again, I'll wait probably a little while until I do that here on my channel. So I'm not just doing all kinds of grocery hauls every week. Even though I know most of you voted that you wanted to see it because Trader Joe's is the best. And I'm so sorry to any of you who do not have Trader Joe's. I know, I know. I'll I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments down below if you like grocery hauls, Trader Joe's hauls, and what do you what do you eat some of these things with? So, all right, you guys. I will talk to you in the next video. Bye. Fashion, my